Salutations, I'm Just a Mike, and welcome back to FTL. And for you guys today, I have a bit of a story, a bit of a confession. Um, one I didn't check. I didn't check the comments before this. From what I could tell from earlier looking at it, no one viewed it, so no one's gonna watch this, and thus it's gonna be a moot point. But I, again, quoting, g going back to Princess Remedy's episode four, which I think I said episode three in the last video, incorrect, but uh, I linked to the correct video anyway. Um, but as, as stated in Princess Remedy's episode four, I, I was affected adversely by a game that I watched. And, um, this isn't me whining or complaining or anything. It, it was my choice. It's my fault. Um, and I'm very glad the game exists, because it's a fucking rad game. But, I have decided that following in my advice for, for, um, well, for others, I'm not going to be playing horror games and and it it's really sad it's an entire genre of game that I'm just gonna miss out on but here's why um, a lot of horror games that I've seen touch on some some very sensitive subjects for me and um, I like I said I'm going to follow my own advice and I'm going to take care of myself. I am not going to forsake mental health, my mental health, for entertainment. Um, if you disagree with my decision to do that, well, d go. Don't watch the channel. <laughs> um, that being said, I do intend to play something. Some something spooky. Outside of just Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Okay. <sighs> um, but yeah, so. I won't, I won't be playing Cry of Fear, despite what, what my friend has, had suggested to me, um, cause the warning screen suggested that if you have depression or anxiety or stuff like that, just don't, it, it can, it can awaken some feelings within you about it, um, so I'm not going to, I'm, I'm heeding the warnings this time. Um, part of it is I am also just a pansy, a really big pansy, and I'm okay with that. I can find ways to celebrate Halloween without scaring the shit out of myself. Um, but yeah, so I, I hope you guys can respect that decision. And, uh, now we're attacking a ship. Oh, damn it. Oh, it has no weapons. Oh, damn it. Hmm. I feel a little bad. You're clearly not putting up a fight. Are you sure you want to destroy them? I don't want to. You power down your weapons, and after a time, the ship slowly limps away. They refuse all communications. You can't help but feel somewhat guilty. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. I need to be paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> That's a funny joke, Michael. No one's gonna watch this. I guess I'm gonna have to say it again in the next video about me not playing too many horror games. I I need light horror games, and uh, if you know any, I'll gladly 
I'll gladly play them if you suggest them in the comments, and they're free. I don't imagine there's many. But, uh, yeah. I would appreciate the suggestions. And, uh, I appreciate your understanding in this matter. Um, I don't think there's anything else I really wanted to hit on. Um, me and my friend tried playing games today. It didn't work out. Um, a lot of it just got, like, way too, way too convoluted for it to work. Um, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow, because, uh, a few of my other friends said that they wanted to record and we could play a game together. Uh, spoiler alert, it's Minecraft. So, um, uh, look forward to that, unless you're one of my friends, in which case you're probably not going to watch it, because you played it. Um, unless you're Eli. Check out his channel. He's neat. I might, I might list him. In fact, I'll make note of that. This is, this is my recording notebook. Um, well, I've already lost the time signature for when I did it, so I'm gonna find out when I'm editing. Ugh. Just letting you guys know, our hole is in a horrible position. I don't, I haven't seen a shop nearby that we can repair from. I like sprained my index fingers. Um, but yeah, so, so let's bring back the energy and let's wreck some dudes. <laughs> All right. Let's see, what else? Let's, let's take out their oxygen. Let's make sure they can't breathe. Wait, nope, shields. Take care of the shields. Make sure the shields stay down. Bam. Alright, now let's take care of the oxygen. Uh, that should actually be the end of them when we take care of the oxygen. If this shot ends, yep. Yeah. Because, uh, the gun does two damage and their ship, two health left. I don't need to explain it. You guys, you guys were there. Um, ooh, a distress beacon. Time to be the goddamn hero. The distress signal is coming from a station orbiting they're looking for help to disable it. Promise to help. And son of a shit. I should have chosen one of the blue ones, but I accidentally pressed one instead of two or three. Oh, I'm glad that worked out. Participate in the study. There's intruders on board. Ah, cool. Okay. Take out the shield. Thank you. Thank God that laser isn't any any more powerful than it was. Okay. Now we just gotta take out the weapons. One down. That's good enough. Let's see if we can't hit their oxygen. All right. Now all they have is that pitiful laser. Now we gotta hit the shields before they come back up. And let's take out their weapons for the last hit. 
Victory is ours! Ha 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 ha! Goodbye, pirate scum. Yo ho, yo ho, I forgot to read that shit. Oh, Defense Drone Mark II. Ah, I could go to the store. Fuck. Let, let's, let's do a little sweep around. Okay, we're, we're gonna be fine. That, that heavy laser right there that they have mounted on the front of their ship probably only fires one. And uh, that drone laser isn't stronger than one layer of shield, so it's impossible for them to touch us. So now it's literally the waiting game! Yay! Everyone's favorite game! Nobody's watching this for this exact reason. This is... This is a slower-paced game. Um... And, uh... Yeah. I feel like it's it's pretty obvious why. But the slower pace does does amazing things for it while you're playing. Playing it feels great. That's that's all that's all I'm trying to get at. Um so if you are watching episode 7 of this series then play the game. Don't watch me, just play the game. It's like 10 bucks. This is this is the only game that I paid for and I already owned it by the time I started this because I knew I wanted to play it. Because I enjoyed watching it. Again, a weird, weird logical process that I went through there, but it is what it is. Um, uh, well, the drone's gone. Cannon fucking blew it the fuck up. But yeah, so, um... I don't know. This, this video is, this video is okay at best. I might, I might record a new one. But we're sweeping around, because... I want to get as much scrap as possible. This ship can hurt us. This ship can hurt us real bad. We need to take out that fucking missile launcher, otherwise it's gonna kill us. Keep suppressing their weapons. You know what? Let's give them something else to think about. That could have all—that could have been really bad. I'm just gonna be honest. I need to stop taking such risks. Because missiles go through shields and. So yeah, oh god. Son of a shit stick. That pike beam is probably really powerful. It's gonna be a bitch to deal with, especially with the meteorites. This is possible. This is doable. It's not going to be easy. Probably not going to be very fun, but it's doable. And that's what I'm going to try to focus on. Because if we get this done, then we're in a really good position. A good position to do what, do you ask? And my answer is yes. jump soon. We gotta jump soon. And we are out of here. Thank you guys very much for watching.
I will see you guys next time. I'm not gonna sell all my fuel, I swear. Ugh. Bye.